Fish have no hands. So what should that tell us to do? Huh? Fish have no hands. <laughs> Good morning, guys and girls. Good morning, June 4, June 4, reading from a Catch a Better Life book on the Catch a Better Life channel on YouTube. If you're not subscribed to this channel, please subscribe today. June 4, Ephesians 4:31, 4, 4:31 says, Let all bitterness, wrath, anger, clamor, and evil speaking be put away from you. Get all of these out of your life. Be put away from you. Also with all malice. Get rid of all malice. Ray Mursky, Ray Mursky. Some of you old tournament fishermen remember Ray Mursky. Ray Mursky was one of the early pro tournament fishermen. Ray was mostly a worm fishing guy, and worm fishing was done a little bit differently back in those days. In tournaments, he had a habit. He had a habit of completely losing his cool when he missed or he lost a fish. I mean, absolutely lose his cool. When that happened, you knew it from several hundred yards away. That's right. You could see a boat sitting way down there on a point, not have a clue who that boat was. But all of a sudden you'd hear this ranting and raving and profanity and loud screaming. It wasn't Mike Iaconelli. No, it was Ray Bursky. He had either missed or lost a big fish. He just got... I told him one time when he got to run close by me fishing and he started hollering and screaming. I said, Ray, shut up. You're scared of all the fish. Today's scripture directs us, you would be, to put away anger, to put away evil speaking. Why in the world does God say that these words and feelings are bad anyway? Why are they bad? Why is getting mad bad? Why is letting off a little steam, saying some nasty words? Why is that bad? I believe it's because it steals our joy. When we get angry, when we get mad, sometimes I get so mad I just get to shaking. You ever have that happen? It steals our joy. You can hardly be angry and joyful at the same time. I don't know if that's even possible. It steals our joy. God wants us to have joy. Plus, all of these things are directed at somebody else. All of these things right here, bitterness, wrath, anger, clamor, evil speaking, malice, all of those are aimed at somebody else. But we're, the often, we're often the ones that are suffering from these words and attitudes that came out of our mouth, an attitude that came from us. We're often the ones that suffer, not to somebody we're screaming and hollering at. Many times, this is amazing, but so true, you know it is. Many times the other person has long since forgotten whatever incident we're angry about, and we're still bitter, we're still angry, we're still mad at them. We carry a grudge, they say. We carry a grudge long after that other person forgot even what happened. Let's pray for God's help today to get those bad feelings and those bad habits out of our hearts and out of our minds so we can have joy, so we can have peace, so we can have happiness. Pretty difficult to be angry and joyful at the same time. So let's get those out of our system. Let's get those out of our lives. If we have a habit of flying off the handle, let's try to zip it up and not do it. A lot of times it's just a matter of not saying that first sentence. If we can just not say that first word or two or whatever, just let it pass. Sometimes that'll solve the problem. Here's our tip today. Fish have no hands. That's right. That's our tip for today. Fish have no hands, so when you feel a bite, set the hook. When you feel a bite, set the hook. You know that the bait is in the fish's mouth because they can't grab a hold of it with their hands. They have no hands. Guys and girls, go out there and have you a great one today. And remember, I sure do love you. <laughs>